Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be showing you the absolute fastest way to fill your nightclub stock to make yourself millions even faster than you have before. I will also be going over everything you need to know about the nightclub, going over the best tips and things you need to know to run the business like a pro. So if you enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like and now let's go. So to even start this money method, you of course need to own a nightclub. And luckily for you, this week on Maze Bank foreclosures, every single nightclub is on sale for 40% off. So if you do not own one, this is definitely a good week to buy one. So once you've purchased your nightclub and you have it all set up, you now want to enter inside of your nightclub and sign into your computer. Once you're signed into your computer, you'll see right here at the bottom, you have a total of seven different products you can actually source with the nightclub. And as you can also see, the amount of total stock I can carry is 360 crates. Now, if you cannot hold up to 360 and for some reason it says it's lower for you, that is because when you bought your nightclub, you most likely didn't put the max storage. I recommend putting the max storage for your nightclub. And as you can also see this week in GTA 5, the storage and also all of the upgrades that come with the nightclub are going to be on a 40% off discount. So just make sure you have a fully upgraded storage. Next, what you need to do is come down to where it says warehouse management and here you will see your five different warehouse technicians that you can purchase. Now, all of these warehouse technicians only cost anywhere from $100,000 to $300,000 at the most. And underneath that, you will see a whole bunch of different names and all of these different names corresponds to a different business in GTA 5 Online. Cargo and shipments referring to special cargo warehouses or a hangar, sporting goods referring to the bunkers, South American imports referring to the cocaine lockup, pharmaceutical research referring to the meth labs, the organic produce refers to the weed farms, printing and copying for the document forgery, and cash creation for the counterfeit cash factories. If any of these names show a lock for you, that is because you do not own that business. And the only way to get that unlocked is by purchasing that business. And once you purchase it, it will then be unlocked. When it comes to buying your technicians, I only recommend you buy the amount of technicians that you have businesses. So if you only have three businesses unlocked, then of course only buy three technicians. And if you have all of the businesses like me, then of course buy all of the technicians, but I only recommend buying the amount of technicians that you have businesses unlocked. Now, once you have all of your technicians purchased, now what you need to do is assign them to a business. Now to do this, it's pretty simple. You literally just click on your technician and then assign it to the business that you want it to be assigned to. Now, as you can see on your screen right now, all of the ones with the checks are the only ones that you want to assign your technicians to if you own all of the businesses like me, because these are the best businesses to make you the most money with the nightclub. So when it comes to the upgrades, you have the security upgrade, the staff upgrade and the equipment upgrade. Now, the only one you really want to worry about is the equipment upgrade because this is going to make your technicians source goods even faster which of course is something you definitely want. The staff upgrade makes it so your popularity doesn't go down that fast and the security upgrade makes it so your nightclub doesn't get raided too often so these are definitely two upgrades you might want to get and they are also 40% off so this is a really good week to buy them. The nightclub is supposed to be a completely passive business that just makes you money in the background while you're playing GTA 5 online so basically while you're on GTA 5 online these technicians in the background will be getting crates for your nightclub. And if you just relied on the technicians to get your crates for you, here is how long it would take them to get it 100% full. Printing and copying would take 15 hours, organic produce would take 27 hours, sporting goods 20 hours, cash creation 67 hours, pharmaceutical research 20 hours, cargo and shipments 58 hours, and South American imports 20 hours. But the title of this video is how to fill up your nightclub the fastest way. So you definitely don't want to rely 100% on your warehouse technicians. And let me show you right now how you can speed up the process of filling up your nightclub 100% faster. So the first way to fill up your nightclub faster is by doing the Johan missions, which are super simple to do. All you need to do is go to your contact list and then give Johan a call. Once you give Johan a call, you want to wait for him to pick up. And then at the very top left, you'll see you can actually request nightclub goods. And also you can see the current stock level and also the current stock value of your nightclub which is pretty cool but what we want to do is request nightclub goods once you request the nightclub goods mission you will now be in a resupply mission for your nightclub and these nightclub goods missions are really easy you literally go over to a destination and take the crate the crate will either be just a individual crate that you pick up or it will be some sort of vehicle that you have to take and then deliver over to your nightclub just like i did right here it's literally as simple as that though these nightclub goods missions take anywhere from one to five minutes each they're really simple to do and once you deliver this over over to your nightclub, you now will successfully have one crate inside of your nightclub. But here comes the bad news. You can sadly only do these Johan nightclub goods missions every 20 minutes because there is a 20 minute cooldown between these missions. 
but that is okay because I do have one more way for you to get crates for your nightclub and this way is probably going to be the absolute fastest way. The way that I'm talking about is by doing business battles. Now hear me out, I know a lot of people don't like doing business battles, but these business battles aren't actually that bad if you run into the lucky ones. What I mean by the lucky ones is as you know, business battles spawn in in any type of GTA 5 online session, but the only ones that you want are the ones with a whole bunch of different crates because if you get a business battle with only one or two crates, that is when the entire lobby is most likely going to attack you for that one crate. So whenever you run into a business battle and it shows a whole bunch of different crates, you definitely want to go pick up those crates and then once you pick them up, you literally just deliver over to your nightclub and just like the Johan missions, this is one crate being delivered into your nightclub. And the main reason I like these business business battles with multiple goods is because you can actually go back to that same location if there is more goods of course and you can actually pick them up and deliver them back over to your nightclub getting you even more goods than you thought you originally were going to get. But keep in mind you do have to move fast if you are in a public session like I am because the entire session is most likely going to be doing the same thing that you're doing going over to that same location and getting these goods. Anyway once the mission was over as you can see out of all of the eight goods I actually got three of them which those three goods got stored inside of my nightclub. Now not all of the time you are going to get those business battles with multiple crates. Sometimes you are going to get a business battle with literally just one cargo that you can deliver over to your nightclub, which kind of sucks because the entire lobby can only go after that one cargo. And if it's only one cargo, the entire lobby is sadly going to have to fight over that one cargo. But luckily in this case, when I was actually delivering this one cargo to my nightclub, it was literally only just me going after it so I could successfully deliver it over to my nightclub. And just like that, I got two out of two of the cargos delivered over to my nightclub. So doing business battle missions are kind of like a hit or miss. It is really cool when you do run into the good business battles, but when you don't, it kind of sucks. But what you can do to higher your chances of running into a good business battle is by simply finding a new session. If you keep finding a new public session, you're bound to eventually run into a good business battle. And that's basically what I did. I just kept finding a new public session until I found a good business battle mission to do, then I would do it. And after I finished doing the business battle, I would then find a new public session until I found another business battle. And doing it like that will fill up your nightclub really, really really fast. Now that we went over all of the different ways to get goods for your nightclub, now we are going to be going over how to sell your nightclub business once you're ready to sell it. Now I personally recommend you sell your nightclub business once the value is over $1 million. As you can see, my nightclub business is 100% full, which you do not need to do. I'm only doing this to show you how much the nightclub business sells for when completely full and also how much it sells for on the double money bonus going on this week. Anyway, as you can see, all of my goods sell for $3.8 million with this week's double money bonus going on on the nightclub sell missions with a completely full nightclub. Most of the time, I'd say 95% of the time, you're going to get only one sell vehicle for your nightclub no matter what. And this is why I actually recommend you sell it in a public session. If you don't know, by selling it in a public session with over 20 people in it, you actually could get a big money bonus on top of the original amount. By selling it in a public session, you're actually getting a 2.5% money bonus per player in the session up to 20 people. So this can definitely add up to a lot of money and definitely over a million dollars if you're selling millions of dollars worth of nightclub goods. And these sell good missions are really easy to do. As you can see, the one that I did right now, all I had to do was go over to an area, shoot a flare up into the air to let the helicopter know I was there. Then I followed the helicopter over to a drop off location, which was the drop off location for the goods. Once I dropped them off, I then sold all of the goods and here is exactly how much money I got paid for selling them. As you can see, $5 million, which is $1.2 million more than the original amount. And of course, I got that bonus by selling it in a public session with over 20 people in it. And if you are somebody who just doesn't like selling in a public session, you can simply just sell it in an invite only session and walk away with the original amount it told you you were going to get, but you sadly will not get a money bonus. Now there is only one other way that you can make money with the nightclub business and we are going to be going over that way right now and the cool thing about this way is you literally don't have to do anything after you set it up. The way we are going to be earning money is with the nightclub popularity. If you don't know, this week in GTA 5 Online, the popularity is three times, meaning every single time your safe gets full, that is $150,000 you can literally walk up to your safe and claim for free. And you can get this every single 48 minutes and let me show you how to do this right now. 
You first need to get your popularity all the way up, which as you can see right now, mine is completely down. So to get it 100% full, a cool trick to do this is go to where it says resident DJ at your computer. And as you can see, all of these DJs you can book for $100,000. Now the DJ that I recommend you book is called the Black Madonna. This DJ mission is a really easy one to do, and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So to do this mission, it's pretty simple. You literally get inside of a car, drive it over to a helipad. And once you get to that helipad, you then enter inside of a car go bob which you then have to fly over and pick up the black madonna dj inside of a police car once you pick him up in the police car with the cargo bob you then have to fly him back over to the actual helipad drop him off and then from here you have to drive him back over to your nightclub once you arrive back at your nightclub you'll then be put through a little cutscene of him being introduced to the nightclub and after this cutscene you will then notice you will actually now have a completely full 100 popularity which is why i said to book the dj this is the fastest way to get your popularity 100% full. And as long as your popularity is 100% full, your current daily income at your computer should say $150,000 since it is triple money and triple RP this week. And this is how much money you'll be earning every 48 minutes in GTA 5 online. You'll actually get an alert that pops up above your mini map once it does get added to your safe, as you can see. And just like that, once it does say your daily take has been added to your nightclub safe, just go over to your safe and then pick up the money right away, which should be $150,000 just like that in 48 minutes of you doing completely nothing just making sure that your popularity is 100% full which it actually should be 100% full for quite a while whatever you do though once it gets full make sure you take your money and don't leave it in there because if you were to let it run for another 48 minutes it will then fill up 100% full in your safe and you will only have $250,000 but as you know $150,000 twice should be $300,000 so if you let it fill up twice you're technically losing 50k if you filled up your nightclub popularity 100% full all you have to do is maintain it and i'm gonna show you a really cool trick to maintain it all you have to do is exit your nightclub go into passive mode and once you go into passive mode then enter inside of your nightclub as soon as you enter inside of your nightclub you'll notice that you actually get one of the people to eject from your nightclub right away i don't know why but every single time you do this go in passive mode and enter your nightclub you always get one of the people that you need to eject and as you can see my popularity is just barely 98 percent so once i eject this person it should now get my popularity back up to 100 full and this is a really cool trick to maintain your popularity and make sure it is always 100% full. All you have to do is literally walk out your nightclub, enter passive mode, walk back in, and you'll notice that you have a person to eject, which you just literally eject them. And just like that, your popularity will be maintained. Anyway, that is now going to be the end of today's video. Those are going to be the fastest ways to fill up your nightclub in GTA 5 Online. And if you follow this guide exactly, you should be filling up your nightclub way faster than you did before. Anyway, I hope you all did want to enjoy today's video. If you did and you haven't already, make sure you do me a favor and drop a like on the video. And of course, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you don't miss out on any future GTA videos just like this. But that's it for me and I will see you all in my very next video. Peace.